All right, here's the latest information. At an annual meeting that they have to review the hurricane season, the NOAA National Weather Service National Hurricane Center representatives voted to make a change in the definition of a hurricane warning. And here is that revised definition. So all of it is the same, but the important part is at the bottom. Sustained winds of over 74 miles per hour, that's the threshold for hurricane, of course, or higher, are expected somewhere within the hurricane warning area in association with a subtropical tropical or post-tropical cyclone. Now, post-tropical cyclone, of course, is important because remember that it uh, was a post-tropical cyclone that Sandy, Hurricane Sandy, was forecast to turn into, and that change made the non-issuance of hurricane warnings, the controversial non-issuance for the Northeast, an issue. Now, a post-tropical cyclone is kind of a northern storm, so Sandy was forecast to transfer from a tropical storm type storm to a northern type storm and therefore they didn't put up the hurricane warnings. Now they'll have explicit permission to do that for storms that might produce extreme storm surges like Hurricane Sandy. They also decided to test internally for two years a new storm surge warning and then in 2015 issue that to the public if it turns out to work out on their internal testing. So a couple of new changes, although I really don't think in terms of what we see for 95, 99% of the storms, it's going to make any difference for the next two years until we get those storm surge warnings. If everything works out, that'll be in 2015.